I, the mighty Indiana Elmer Jones, am hungry. I've explored the cavernous depths of my refrigerator, but to no avail. I will call my dealer. Hey, man, you got the product? to the Buccaneers supermarket. One can of bloody tomato soup will be four dollars. Maybe four dollars? Just a year ago it was two. Aye, prices have risen up continuously as high as the seas. The CPI has increased from 100 to 200. I need to talk to my banker about this. Earlier this morning, I went to the store to get my favorite bloody tomato soup, but you know what? I couldn't even pay for it. What's up with that? Well, you see, Elmer, there's a general increase in the price level of all goods because of unexpected inflation. Inflation? What is that? I don't even think you know what you're talking about, sir. Let me talk to your manager. No, oh, I'm a manager. How may I help you? Well, sir, your associate was telling me about this thing called inflation. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. Come on over to the scales. I'll explain everything to you. Now, you see here you have your three favorite bloody tomato can soups, and here's two of your currency. Well, you can buy them before because they had a relatively high purchasing power, but now because of inflation the prices have gone up, the purchasing power has decreased, and you can no longer buy them. Did you know that there are two types of inflation you should probably be aware about? Demand pull and cost push. Demand pull is just like your situation. Too many Dollars chasing too few goods. And cost push inflation is when the prices of the wages and the resource materials have gone up, so it costs more for those goods to be produced. And as a result, you can't buy them anymore. Well, how was I supposed to know anything about this? Well, did you read your textbook? A textbook? I've never read a textbook in my life. You should have read your textbook. I never, no one ever told me to read my textbook. Don't worry about that. We can change that by going back into the past. Back into the past? Come here, Elmer. This is my technician, Lou Bill. Welcome to the Time Travelatorium, guys. Where would you guys like to go? 40 years in the past. 40 years in the past? All right. Thank you, Leanne nice. Wren. Stephanie. I mean, Lou Bill. I mean, Chinese <laughs> guy, I don't know your name. But All right, I'm going to mess with the settings a little bit. Anything comes up, hit that red button over there. I think we should close this door, huh? All right. Now there are no problems with this, right? Hopefully not. Okay. I think you know how to use that whip. No! It's 40 years ago! Hello, my name is Indiana Elmer Jones. How may I help you today? What interrogation do you think you're doing, son? This is Krispy Kreme. How may I take your order? Son, do you know who this is? No. This is Indiana Elmer Jones, your future self. Am I rich? When no, I'm you're rich? not rich! But I was planning on putting all my monies in a savings account. Which is a wrong idea! You know why that's a wrong idea? Why? Because of inflation. Do you know what inflation is? No, I don't. Did you read your textbook? No, I never read textbook. All right, Elmer, you explain it to him. Wait, you can't because you didn't read your textbook! Here, read your textbook. But how do I know if there's going to be unexpected inflation? Well, if there's an expansionary fiscal policy over an extended period of time where there's an expansionary monetary policy, then you know that inflation is a high possibility. But I was really planning on getting my race change surgery. And why would you do that? Look at where it ended you. I can't even afford my bloody tomato soup anymore. Exactly. Mind your lesson, boy. Let's go back to the future. I understand it now. An expansionary fiscal policy would increase deficit spending and cut taxes, which would increase average demand and increase the price level or inflation. 
Also, what the bank manager said about an easy money policy would increase the money supply and also increase aggregate demand. If I follow the bank manager's advice, I will be able to afford both my race chain surgery and buy my favorite tomato soup. I'm glad I changed all my past habits. Now I can afford all the bloody tomato soup I want. Open Gangnam Star. Gangnam Star. Indiana Edgar Jones failed. That's outrageous. Last wow. year it was only two. <laughs> By going back in time. And back in time. Back into time. Back into time. <laughs> One of these pictures. Wait, move yourself. <laughs> <laughs>